Aries, what's going on? It's Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. Guys, it is time for Wealth and Abundance readings, and this is going to be for November 2021 or whenever you happen to find the video. So this is going to be a general reading, okay? I am going to look at money forecast. Hopefully, it's going to be a good one for Aries. I see... Um, Recently, a lot of grumbly Aries in the comments. I think we're all going through whatever kind of rough patch. We feel like we've waited long enough um, and it's just time. Okay, so anyway, this is going to be for Aries in Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Always check out your moon sign if you're watching the sun sign reading and you think, man, this sucks. Um, just go ahead and watch your moon sign. <laughs> Remember to subscribe, you guys. I really do look forward to your comments. So uh, let me just do a little bit of a deck clear. I am using the Gilded Tarot. <sighs> All right. So I, Aries, you guys deserve a break. So I have no idea what the cards are going to say. I do have my team in spirit here. Um, so let's see what they can see into November. Okay. <laughs> well. This is like, no Aries wants to hear this. Like, cool your jets. <sighs> what was I just saying about grumbly Aries? We're like really starting to, like really sort of like lunge into the gates. You know what I mean? It's like getting a little bit ferocious, okay? With the appetite and then just the, we're not good at waiting, you know? We're not good at waiting. Aries, no, I, I want everything now and it better be on a silver platter and don't, don't knock over my crown while you're here either. But here's the temperance card. And it's saying, okay, everything's okay, Aries. You know, you really just got to bring the temperature down. Like it simmer a little bit, you know, instead of being at a rolling boil all the time. Um, and as an Aries, I kind of find that annoying advice because... <laughs> Hello, we're Aries and we deserve everything yesterday, right? So... I mean, that's kind of a cautionary tale with the temperance card saying, yeah, everything's going to be okay. You just got to keep your wits about you. And that's something that I'm getting from my spirit guides too, is that it's not always to, it's not always easy to see things clearly when you are at that rolling boil. Okay. So, I mean, I guess it's good advice or whatever, <laughs> but you know, we're Aries. Okay, so here's the High Priestess. So this is very interesting. We're getting all this Divine Feminine energy here. Okay, so this is very powerful. Divine Feminine ener energy uses a different force than um, Masculine energy. Okay, so we do have the High Priestess here. And it's like asking you to rise above. Okay, like be that, be that fierce warrior that you know that you are. Um, act as if you deserve everything in the world because you know that you do, but maybe try doing it in a different sort of a way, okay? There's a lot of balance here in the background with the matching pillars, okay? We have the calm water here. You can see the difference, okay? A little bit of a tempest here, and then we go over here with the high priestess, and everything's a little bit different. And actually, what she's doing is letting her heart guide her, okay? Obviously, the high priestess is quite magical as well, okay? Something really important to remember, and I know a lot of people are afraid of magic and all of that stuff, but anytime that you're speaking anything out to the universe, that is your source of magic. I'm going to write that down. Hold on for a second. So any type of affirmation that you do, any type of like anything you're speaking to the universe, trying to call things in your vision board, whatever it is that you're doing to manifest, that is your source of magic, okay? And your magic gets muddied if you're in this sort of mood over here. And it's going to happen, okay? It is. But then just remember who you are. Like really just straighten up your crown. And remember who you are, okay? And then your heart will start to lead the way instead of your big Aries ram head, okay? And and Aries are ruled by the head. So the head can really get you into trouble in the sense of overthinking and like getting like that sense of being wronged, okay? And I just saw angel number 444. So this is going to be a, a challenge for you guys. So you could want to maybe make a note of like a mental note to yourself that... Um, 
I really would like to emulate the high priestess a little bit more when it comes to manifesting and keeping patience, okay? Because when you get all swirly, like the temperance card, um, everything's out of control. Everything's going too hot, you know what I mean? So uh, the high priestess is a really good reminder. If you're going to be speaking negative words, that's what you're going to be getting, okay? Woo! Okay, so, wow, you guys more divine femininity okay i pulled the empress card so this is going to be a really big portal portal of opportunity in november for aries of creating your own opportunities and you're going to hold the pencil okay when you're the architect and you're drawing the portal that you would like to go through so who do you want to be holding the pencil the pen when you do that do you want it to be you know hot mess du jour with the temperance card or do you want it to be the peace and calm and tranquility and loving heart and sort of the the spellbinding sort of energy that you can be once this boils off okay so this is going to be your call in November. So if you guys have been having a really hard time and like I said I did see in your comments that just getting super frustrated. So, I mean, this is a gut check for Aries, right? You do have the Empress and she brings opportunities. She is the portal between one world and the other, okay? So here we are holding that opportunity <clears throat> and we're the master creator of what that opportunity is going to look like, okay? So this is really slow down Aries okay so who is able to calm you down I know some people can say something to me and like I'll just pop right you know <laughs> what and then if it's somebody else all right I can listen to that so how do you have that conversation with yourself when you feel yourself getting up to that like where you can't think straight anymore and things start to take a negative spin like, how can you do that for yourself? Or maybe you want to have a, a friend that you can text to say like, hey man, I, I need to calm down here. Can you say something to diffuse me or, you know, something so that you can get back in that balance and lead with your heart. And when you create that portal of opportunity, it's actually going to be one that you want to go through instead of like, oh, here we go again. Where did that come from? No, thanks. Okay, so we do have the queen of wands here. So you guys... You got to remember who you are right now, okay? Not what circumstances need, not what circumstances can put your back up against. You guys are fire, okay? You have the energy of the queen of fire. She is an unstoppable energy. There's also something in this card that is saying to me that perhaps you're not giving back enough. Maybe there's a little bit more that you could be doing for other people, Always watch your energy, know your limits, make sure that you're taking breaks and giving yourself the respite that you need in order to keep that amazing Aries fire charging. And it's just sort of blowing my mind that every single card that I pulled here is a divine feminine reflection, okay? So <clears throat> there's two different ways of approaching strength. There's one that is sort of a brute strength and the other is an all-knowing, pervasive, uh, very relaxed, calm, nurturing strength, okay? And that's what we're getting here with your entire reading, okay? Um, <clears throat> everybody has divine feminine energy in them, you know, even if your gender is male. Um, you have that. So it could be that you're a little bit out of balance and, <clears throat> excuse me, and I know it's the same for, like, Aries that identify as female or whatever you identify as, you guys, you know, um, anyway. Um, it's a very strong and powerful sign. So we could sometimes let this masculine energy come to the front. So now it's time to sort of open that up and let the divine feminine of Aries come up because it, it seems like the the horns raging and the temperature rising 
it's not really doing the trick for you right now, or it would have already, okay? So it's time to change your tactics a little bit. Um, yes, okay, so finally we get this notification that this journey is almost over. And it really depicts what I was just talking about with the divine feminine versus the divine masculine, okay? So this is the end of your masculine journey. This is where you bring in that soft feminine side that opens portals, that follows the heart, that uses persuasion tactics, you know, is very soft. You ever see like a Southern Belle and they're just so compelling? That's what I can think of right away. You guys can let me um, know if you think of another example, but they're they're just so, you know, everybody wants to do things for them, you know? Uh, so there's this really soft feminine side for you guys. And this almost like a toxic masculinity within you can be put to rest. That journey is almost over. Look how, like, this guy's like <laughs> mad buff, you know? So he doesn't need that. And there's this realization coming in for you guys that you're way to your wildest dreams is that soft and divine feminine power within you. And I'm going to leave that at angel number 1111. So guys, peace out. Love and light. Bye.